everybody, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Opinionated Scents, our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. So today I have two new fragrances to my collection. As you can see, I'm able to breathe again now that I have decluttered over 50 fragrances. By the way, if you're still looking, I do believe I have two things left on Macari. So go to my Macari page and buy them. All right. With that out of the way, let's jump into it. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is Kate Spade, New York. I am not really one for the Kate Spade line. I've had a few of them from Scentbird and I really enjoyed them. So I'm not really sure why I don't own any full size bottles. Um, I did go through quite a few uh, Scentbird travel sizes actually. So with this one, Yummy411 Kia was talking about this one, I think on one of Lulu's lives that she wanted to try because it had a strawberry note. Lo and behold, I went into Ulta to get my melanin hair care because I'm going to switch things up a bit with my hair when I go back curly. While I was there, I spotted this and this is the 1.3 fluid ounce. So I said, you know what, let me go ahead and try it. It didn't have any testers out. You know, I the notes, I can't remember what they are right now. I was so excited just to open it and smell it with you guys. But I know that strawberry was one of their notes. And I told you guys, I'm always on the lookout for a strawberry fragrance. So let's see what we got here. Okay, well, the atomizer. It's not, I don't even know. The, I lifted it up, but didn't come. I don't even know if you saw that, but... Mmm, okay. Definitely a fruity floral for sure. I know this is going to sound strange, but this reminds me of the original Mon Perry or the Parfum. This is stra that same exact strawberry, but nowhere near as much patchouli. Now, I, I feel like I smell patchouli. There's something earthy in here. And while I like patchouli because it's almost in everything, I prefer it more in the base as a afterthought, more so than straight on full in your face. But this reminds me so much of Mon Perry uh, by Yves Saint Laurent. For anyone who doesn't know, it's YSL's Mon Perry or the Parfum. It is a beautiful strawberry if that's what you are looking for. I think right now, if you if you really really like patchouli, you'll be safer probably going with Mon Perry or the Parfum or uh, get the EDT. I've heard the EDT is lighter. I have never smelled it before um, because I think the prices will be cheaper than what this is. You'll get much more quantity wise in the Mon Perry line than you would. Whoa, you did, the rolling of the R's. I knew I could do that. Um, but Kate Spade is a little pricey right now because it just came out. $55 for a one ounce or a 1.3 ounce essentially. Maybe that's not you know what? If you can budget it and you want it, get it. But if you love Mon Perry and the patchouli was always too much, rock with this one. You're like, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about this one because I just heard about it the other day. I don't know if it was Michelle on Lulu's Live or if it was Courtney, but somebody mentioned, or maybe, I don't know, but somebody mentioned this new La Vie, La Vie Belle. I always want to say S. Bell, but somebody told me, was that Jill, Jeanette, Cologne? Is that how you say your last name? Um, I think it was, I think her name is Jeanette, who told me it's A. So, La Vie A. Bell, Soleil Cristal, Le de Parfum. Guys, I'm so excited for this one. I've known about it for a hot second. The, the day she mentioned, oh, look at this chameleon bottle. You guys probably cannot see that, but it's like that thing that changes color. Like it looks like a rainbow. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite. <laughs> the packaging is stunning. Wow. Okay, I need a new stick since I was over here spraying all those coaches thinking that um, Kate Spade was giving me vibes from Coach. I pulled the whole Coach line from over here because the florals in Kate Spade remind me of Coach New York. And then the fruitiness of it kind of reminds me of Poppy. And I thought maybe it reminded me of Coach Blossom. But when I smelled it, I was like, absolutely not. So, new stick. Let's do it. 
This bottle, though, what you talking about? Okay. I'm holding my breath. Ooh. Okay. What that smell like? That smell like something. What that smell like? In the air, it smell like something that I have already. And on the stick, I'm getting some citrus, some floral. I don't know what's supposed to be in this, but it smells like it's probably some bergamot. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so it's not a love at first sniff except for the packaging. This bottle is stunning. Winner, winner chicken dinner. But this is really light. It's really fresh and it's really a burst of citrus. It's got to be some bergamot or lemon in the top of that. This doesn't smell like anything orange or anything lime. Gosh, it's so, wow, that's zesty. And in the best way. And then I got some type of floral or maybe some type of, I, I wanted to say pink pepper, but I don't think that this has pink pepper in it. I don't know. I'm trying to rack my brain for the notes. The thing I, I wanted it for was because I know there's supposed to be some type of coconut in it, but I am not picking up coconut right now at all. A lot. Because there it is. You, you know not well, I swear, like you drop something and you looking for something for three hours. The moment you sit down and stop looking for it, it appears. Or you take all day trying to fix something or, you know, fix your computer at work. And the moment you call IT, you start working. That, that's what just happened. So I'm picking up the same type of coconut that I smell in um, Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. Very light, very subtle. It, the same kind of um, beachy vibe as Bulgari Godia. Yeah, it's coming out now. So it was super zesty at first at the top. Hence the floral. Now it has turned into those normal beachy scents that we love so much. I'm really thinking about Oh they So Lil Blanc. Because of the zestiness up top, yeah, it's giving me that vibe. Only the price is much cheaper than Solil Blanc. Um, I don't think this is a 3.4 ounce. I think this is, I don't know what size this is. What is, it's the 1.7 ounce and it was like $100 before I did my, uh, use my points. So you're going to get much less of this than you would. And all day Solil Blanc, I think you can find it for $100, maybe $130 for a 3.4 fluid ounce now. So for my money, Oh yeah, this is turning into, this is turning into, what is this? Um, Tara. Shoot. I almost cussed. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, this is like a beachy fragrance. That's exactly what it is. It's that same old suntan lotion, sunscreen vibe. Is this gold here? I think this is reminding me so much of Bulgari's Godia, which I had a, it's, I think it's on, uh, yeah, it's on Macari to be sold. Wow. Oh yeah, that's crazy. All right. So, um, it's pretty. It is. Is it a must have? Absolutely not. Absolutely positively not. I do not think that you need to run right out and get this unless you are obsessed with beachy fragrances and um, or you just want to collect them because they're behind me. Okay. I have a nice little collection from Lancome and I have, you know, how many ever they have? One, two, three, four. I have four from the line. Um, it's five now. But yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not impressed. Not really. This is Eau de Solil Blanc in the opening and then Bulgari's Godia in the dry down or any number of sun tanny, sunscreening um, fragrances. The bottle is stunning. I can't say enough about the packaging, but this is just, it's not unique enough. I really do like the Kate Spade New York because it is giving me everything I wanted from Mon Perry minus the ridiculous amount of patchouli. So I know I'll keep it. 
However, I don't think I'm going to keep the La Vie Belle Solil Cristal. I don't know. I want to play with it, but then I don't. Anyway, the heat's kicking on, so that's telling me I need to go. So, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. If this is not your first time visiting me, or even if it is, please subscribe. Help me grow the channel. I'm almost close to 1K. I've only been doing this for four months, guys. It'll be five months on February 25th. So, I would love to reach 1K by then. Did I say 4K? I would love to reach a thousand subscribers. I do have a giveaway I'm going to do with a first, second, and third place. I want to give out some stuff I'm not using that I don't want to keep. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, to click the like button, and select the notification bell so that you never miss any of my uploads. As always, I want to see you guys in the comments. If you have tried these, you know, whether you just tested them in the store or whether you own them, if you love them, if you don't, you know, I want to hear about it. Let's talk about it in the comments and tell me what new 2021 releases you're looking forward to, because I have quite a few of them that I'm going to be eyeing. I want that new label so bad. It almost makes me want to cry. Like it is shameful how I'm acting on the inside. And it's like, this Pug company, P-U-I-G, or however you pronounce that, they hate America. I swear they're not releasing anything over here. Everything's happening in London, the UK, you know, across the pond. And we're just sitting here to watch all of our friends, um, our YouTubers from over there, introduce everything to us that we can't get our hands on. It's like sickening. You know what I'm saying? You guys know I have a little bit of an issue here. And I want to indulge. I'm ready to give in my money. And they just like, nah. We good. That's so messed up. Anyway, guys, <laughs> as always, I, 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 how do I how do I end these videos? I've been gone too long. Help me. What I be saying? I'm like, thanks. Subscribe. And as always, oh yeah. And as always, bye. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Ridiculous.